What up y'all, it's your boy Scoob back at it. And today I'm making this video to celebrate my 100 subscribers. Anybody that subscribed to my channel, uh, thank y'all very much. Y'all don't really understand how much it means to me. Um, anybody who hadn't subscribed yet, uh, go ahead, you know, hit the subscribe button. Because if you're not familiar with my channel yet, then I would make it a point to do so. I make quality diecast content. You know, everything from Hot Wheels to these Tomica Limited Vintages right here that I'm going to be um, explaining to y'all about today. Um, so, um, join the club. You know, take a seat. Hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please leave a like. At least leave a like. Because uh, that helps, you know, push my content out there to more more people and beat the algorithm. More people see my channel, the more that it helps me out as a content creator. So, try not to be stingy with that subscribe button or that like button either. So, anyway, um, with that out of the way, uh, let's get to these Tomica Limited Vintages right here. So, the first one... I'll be um, talking about is this one, the Lancha, the Lancha Thema 8332, excuse me, the Lancha Thema 832. So yeah, um, if you're not too familiar with this car, it has quite the history to it. Um, it's, it's a, Lancia is an Italian brand. Italian car manufacturer if you're not familiar um, it's actually uh, together with Alfa Romeo and Fiat but anyway um, Ferrari used to be part of the Fiat group before they went independent again and this is really a run of, run of the mill car back in Italy in Europe you know, with how boxy it is, you know, how plain Jane it is. But I actually kind of like it, you know. It's very boxy in a smooth way. Don't really care too much for most of these boxy cars from the 80s. But I really like the way this one looks. But anyway, um, it actually has a... It was actually... A collaboration with your know, Ferrari, the Thema with the 832 uh, designation on it. This is the you know, 832 right there on the um, on that yellow uh, badge right there, under the right next to the rear wheels. Yeah, you really can't see it too good because it's so small, but it's there. Got. It every one of these colors every color of this car has this yellow stripe you know, down the side um, this yellow pinstripe it looks good on it you know Tomica actually made these in red um, gray and dark blue the other colors hopefully I can pick up the red one you know or either one pretty soon but I picked this green one out first it kind of spoke to me a little bit more. So that's the one that I went with. It's got the spoiler right here. It got the um, grill and headlights. They look good. And now you got the tail lights. With all the Lancia badges on it. And this is what it looks like on the bottom. The, the name. I'll let y'all pause that if y'all want to. So y'all can read that. Um, it actually has a little bit of suspension on it. Which is pretty nice. Uh, 
and take a look at this interior, y'all. Um, yeah, this is a better angle on the right. Yeah, um, that it's got the wood grain right on top of the in inside of the doors, um, which is excellent detail. And then let me show y'all something else. You see that, you know, it's got the wood grain inside of the dash. They painted that in there too, which is excellent. Really like the way that tan interior goes with this green right here. And like I mentioned, you know, a little bit earlier, um, Ferrari had uh, helped engineer this car for the 832 version. Like I say, it was a run-of-the-mill front-wheel drive, you know, uh, car. But. You know, we got this baby right under the hood. You know, this Ferrari V8 engine. Yeah, in a front-wheel drive car um, from Italy. So, yeah, uh, this is nuts. I mean, this is crazy. That's a good-looking engine. You know, they could have painted it a little bit here and there. To Tomica could have painted it a little bit little bit more just to make it stand out a little bit more but it still looks good very detailed in there so yeah that's one hell of an engine for a front wheel drive car but this is a good looking car though uh, this is the Lancia Thema 832 folks And now we got these two uh, Ferraris, the two real Ferraris. Um, we got this, both of them are the Ferrari F355s, but the obvious difference is that this one in gray is the Berlinetta, the F355 Berlinetta, which if you're not familiar with Italian, it just basically means coupe in Italian. So that's the Berlinetta. This right here is the F-355 Spider. But let's uh, talk about this Berlinetta first. Really like it in this gray. I missed out on the red F-355s. But I kind of sort of made up for it by buying these two. So any Ferrari's good in my collection. Like I said in my other video, um, I collect I collect a lot of different cars, but um, I got probably more Ferraris than any other car in my collection. So when Tomica Limited Vintage uh, came out with these, I had to jump on it, especially since the F-355 in general is one of my favorite Ferraris. Pro quite possibly my favorite Ferrari of the 90s growing up. You got the got the grill in the grill in the side markers, signal markers, fog lights, little prancing horse in the grill, Ferrari badge on the um, on the front. Uh, you got the tail lights. The those classic round Ferrari taillights with the prancing horse on the back of the car. You got some some sweet exhaust back there, real nice. Then you know, you got you got F three fifty five right here under the engine cover, right above the 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 rear taillights, which is some amazing detail. I mean. I'm not sure how they managed to get that on there and be able to be uh, readable. But anyway, let's get to this this main thing right here, this engine. Yeah, this is also a V8, if you didn't know. A mid-engine car. 
mid-engine rear-wheel drive. Um, this phone kind of wants to, this camera wants to take it out of focus, but we got to wrestle with it a little bit just to get a good enough shot of this engine. I guess that's good enough. So yeah, uh, quite amazing detail right there. Oh yeah, it got these wheels with the center caps, the yellow center caps. It's a little bright, but it, you know, it's there. Then you got the same thing, the same center cap on the um, on the steering wheel. Again, nice interior. And then we'll we'll jump over to this F three fifty five spider. I love these Italian spiders, uh, hence the name um, Deadly Spiders Diecast. I like uh, all kinds of convertibles, but these Italian spiders probably my favorite. You got the interior. Yeah, this phone wants to act up a little bit. You got the wheels with the yellow center caps. You got the you got the front end looking real nice. Then you got the then you got the tail lights with the Ferrari badge. Again, F three fifty five above the right tail lights. Yo, that's dope. Then you got this sweet looking engine. Beautiful. And then you got Ferrari right here. Fuck, man. There we go. You also got it right here, too. You can't see it too good on this gray color, but it's there. So, yeah, there goes my F-355 Spiders. Some more details that we um, passed over. You got the Pininfarina badge right uh, in front of the rear wheels. Love me some Pininfarina, which, you know, are the people who designed these Ferraris back in the day, designed this car. They did one hell of a job. It's still one of my favorite Ferrari designs. And then, you know, you got this Lancia Tama right here. And put this right here. We want to put the spotlight on these Ferraris. So anyway, um, I guess that just about does it for this um, review. You know, I got the boxes, you know. You know, I still held on to them. I got them packed up somewhere, but, you know, they're pretty nice too. They're pretty dope. They come with some stuff that you put, you can glue to your car, but I ain't going to do that. I like them just the way they are right here, you know. Uh, you definitely got to be careful with these uh, mirrors. They are a little delicate. But, you know, that's really the only thing. But otherwise, I'm happy with my purchases right here. I'm looking forward to getting the, um, the some of the other Ferraris. And maybe some of the Japanese JDM type of cars, too. Um, cars that we never got over here in the States. So I'm looking forward to that, too. Once my bank account recovers a little. So anyway, um, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. Really appreciate the support I've been getting. The support that it's been a little slow this month. Uh, a little unnecessarily so, um, but I'm grateful that I'm finally reached 100. 
Now it's time to reach 1,000. Yeah, I'm batting 1,000. Yeah, that, that's a goal of mine. I reached one goal today. I'm very glad, very thankful. Especially since Thanksgiving is coming up. Uh, but first, we got to get through my favorite, you know, uh, holiday, Halloween. Yeah, just because you get so much candy. Yeah, I'm still, <laughs> still got the sweet tooth rocking. But anyway, I want to give out some shout outs before I go. First of all, you know, got to give a big shout out to my man, Harrison Ford Jr. You know, he's been my biggest contributor as far as uh, subscribing, as far as, you know, um, commenting. Excuse me. But anyway, I had to give him a shout out because, you know, he always leave a comment on my videos. Got to show my man some loyalty back, you know. He always say, keep it blazing. You know, you do the same, my man. Uh, also, you know, you got Bullet Tony Customs. Yeah, Anthony from Bullet Tony Customs. You know, me and him, you know, went back and forth a little recently. You know, that's a cool dude, you know. I, he's one hell of a customizer, too, so... Check him out. You know, he also hunts for chases, you know, super treasure hunts on the Hot Wheels side of things. So, you know, check him out, man. So take a look at his channel and make sure you bring some people back to mind. Anyway, you know, you got the Joy Hunter. Yeah, he shouted me out in uh, his 500 subscriber videos. So I want to do the same for him. You know, on my 100 subscriber video, um, he always say collect what you like and like what you collect. Something that uh, agrees with my sentiments exactly. Um, so, yeah, make sure you hit him up. And then uh, you got Walter from the Hotline of Diecast. You know, he be he's a chill, laid back dude. You know, I talk to him sometimes, you know, me and him kind of conversate a little bit in the comments. So, yeah, he talks to everybody almost, you know, when he can. Um, yeah, he's also when besides just being a great hot we uh, die cast collector, he's also a, one hell of a skateboarder. See, I'm more of a ball player, you know, I play basketball, you know, he used to play football in high school. Uh, kind of dabbled in, you know, skating. But if I do some of the stuff that he be doing on that board, man, I'll end up busting my ass. But anyway, it's quite impressive what he can do on, still do on that board for his age. Yeah, he is phenomenal. So, yeah, um, I got some other folks uh, to give big ups to. Um... So, yeah, um, DMV Diecast Customs, thanks for the sub. You got um, Gary, Gary's Diecast Collection. You know, Gary, uh, he's a great guy. He's been going through some things. So, you know, I've been there to support him. He comes back and, you know, supports my channel. You know, he's, uh, I say he's one of the most genuine, not only diecast collectors, but people that I've met, at least from afar. Yeah. Um, I lived out in the Bay Area. You know, I had, I moved back down here to Arkansas. You know, he's, he still lives in the Bay. So, yeah, um. Hopefully, I get a chance to meet up with him once I get back to the Bay. Hopefully, we meet up in a store somewhere. So, yeah. Thanks a lot, Mr. Gary. Um, and everybody else that, you know. Oh, yeah, Creole Diecast. I follow his channel. Uh, he's, he's a pretty cool dude, cool cat. You know, got that Louisiana flavor going on. 
uh, yeah, got KG diecast and dioramas. Yo, KG, yo, that dude is a hard worker. So, yo, yo, give him some big ups. He does the di the dioramas right, man. So, if if he is watching, go ahead and check him out. And then, um, everybody else, you know, everybody else that I couldn't mention on the top of my head, I just want to make sure that y'all are all appreciated. You know, um, hopefully y'all appreciate me the same. Hopefully the new subscribers, you be a little bit more patient with me. I'm trying to get everything, you know, my finances right, you know. Because you need finances to do what we do here, you know. It costs a little bit to uh, bring cars in the collection and show them on YouTube. So, sit tight. Be patient. You know, I'm still rocking. I still got some shit. I still got some shit for y'all's asses, you know what I'm saying? So, hold on. Yeah, that's the plane right there. We live on a... Um, my town is right next to the Little Rock Air Force Base. So we get them fighter jets, you know, uh, blasting through here. So, nice little tidbit for y'all veterans out there watching my channel. So, yeah. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Uh, let's get to 200, y'all. One step at a time till we get to 1,000. So I can start making, you know some money on this channel to you know just to give me a little extra spending money but the main thing is to show to let the cars be the stars you know that's my motto that's what i live by that's my slogan you know cars are the reason why we're here in the first place and we stay for the people too long as they're genuine so anyway I'm making this video too long. So I'm about to sign out. Oh yeah, twice diecast. Check him out too. So yeah, anyway, Jakarta Diecast Project. They gave me you know, great inspiration on my customs. Give me real technical know-how. I learned from them too. Yo, Jakarta, keep on doing your thing, y'all. Great team over there. So anyway. Thank y'all for watching. I do appreciate it. I'm making this video too long. Like I repeated myself with. Alright. I'm out. See y'all later. 200.